Ajar, ajar. Alright, okay. Um, yeah, sorry for for the inconvenience. Um, the site was down. Um, there was, uh, I think there was um, a little bit miscommunication. So yeah, I will just okay. So your question is how to uh, identify the stock for the for the two brands between um, MG and what is the other one? Mixus. Things like Mixus. Wait. Okay. Okay. Let me check the. Manufacturer codes. Here I have to add another uh, manufacturer for for the uh, brand. Yeah. Can you can you spell can you spell the on on chat right? Yeah, yeah. I already the, spelled. You can see. Okay. Wait. Hang on. Maxus. All right. Yeah. So here. Is it one? It makes us? Yes. yes. Farms, Mexitra. It's a sponge. Is it correct? Maxus Park? Are you sure? Yes. All right. Okay. Hang on. For the part, um, is it going to be Seg Motors also? Yeah, from Seg Motors too. Okay, same. Uh, hi Echo. Um, I just want to add about yeah. Maxus. Yeah. Um, Sec Motor is a big group company. Uh, for Maxus is commercial truck. So they have different division. So when we place order, the name of the the pay pay right the the, the, the our supplier have a little bit different name. Uh -huh. 
they, they will have like oh, okay. related, something like that on the end so i mean the the, the supplier name similar in the same group but um it's it it's different i mean the you, actual, might, you, you want to yeah, you want to separate the supplier code maybe mm, yeah but we, that will be better yeah okay oh, I, i'll just segmoto international segmoto okay international oh, okay. Limited, okay. Something like that international limited that the other one so uh, international i guess limited. yeah yes Okay, so this will be the okay. Tola, this will be the supplier for the Maxus, right? From now on, it's the So uh, you have any example for the uh Maxus part number. Hello, Tola. Yeah, yeah, please leave it a moment. I will send you. Okay, sure.
The number is not in the system. Have you entered the part numbers for Maxus? Tola, not yet. Or are you still doing manual? Not yet, not yet, in fact. Oh, okay. So, I mean, wait, 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 you don't, you don't enter the Maxus part number? Yeah. You, you're still doing, you're still, you're still doing manual for Maxus? Yeah, because this part is just coming and we're not sure about the way to control into this uh -huh. program too. That's why okay. we're pending this job. Okay, so it's just just coming. How many items? How many pack oh, numbers? Let, let me check first. 100? 100? 200? 1000? Yeah, now, now we have, yeah, 150 items. 150 okay 150 items yeah you can you can give me the part numbers um i can help you to enter the part numbers into the system but you have to do the part receipt yourself right oh yeah Okay, just give me the um, the list like Nico, if if we input the part, part number, number yeah into the system so when we search it is can be confused with the M mg uh, spare part okay I will, I, I will show you i will show you um that's why i will show you how to differentiate okay i'm uh Uh, okay, I'll just use the test data. Um, I'm, I'm I'm going to create a new part number for Maxus. I just use the seven egg. Sorry.
think this is not the one to be.
Okay, so like this, Tola, I have um, added the uh, new part number for Maxus. So you can differentiate or you can separate the part by the manufacturer here. Yeah. Right. So the manufacturer here, you can just press F7. You can select the Maxus parts in here. Right. It's MG if it's uh, MP. Okay, then the major group, you can also select the access parts. Right, so that's all. Then you, have, you just need to um, se select the proper manufacturer and the major group. So in the report, when you, when you get the report, you can filter by the select manufacturer. For example, if you want to select only the Maxus parts, you can just select here. And now just click OK. So it's only showing the Maxus parts in here. See? Yeah. So if you want to only select the MG, select MG. Or if you want to show both, you can just delete this. You don't need to have the selection here and select by manufacturer okay. it's mg right. and then the next one is mp you can see here and it's the total right yeah so it's just the same it's just on the same screen you just need to define the uh, manufacturer code here and here. Right, that's all. So that's all what you need to do. Um, Ego. So if we create a RO or invoice, and is there any option to avoid consumes that? The person click consume with the uh, what MG part, but but you for the mixer car and mixer car you for the MG part. I mean the vehicle and the part is is consume something. Yeah, like that. yeah, you're yeah you're right. You can when when you do the part issue. Okay. When you do the part issuing, you can see the manufacturer here. Yeah. So, for example, this one, the manufacturer is MP. In here, mm. you can see. You cannot. Uh, yeah, we cannot. It's because it's still on the same same warehouse or the same location and you just have to you just have to um check the manufacturer here because sometimes it's not mg sometimes it's a local part maybe like um battery or tire maybe it's only local parts yeah. it's not mg it's not, it's not mg it's not mp so yeah what you need to do is just check the manufacturer here before you issuing the part. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, so and so, yeah, one, one more thing. Yeah. It, it, it is, uh, is there an option that show double part number between MG and, and Maxus? Double part number because, yeah, something we don't know. Example MG part number is one two three, but makes us also one two three. Yeah, yeah. I'm also, I also noticed that the Maxus part number is the same. It's like the same, um, the same numbering set as the MG. Just the same. Maybe if you want to, if you want to prevent the. 
the same duplicate. to prevent the duplicate duplicate part number between MG and Maxus. Maybe you can add like um, the prefix of on the the prefix on the part number. Like maybe you can put um, the two characters MP on the prefix of the part number. What do you think? yeah if we can if we edit like this it will better in the system but we need to correct it all that different with what we order or submit to the supplier yeah oh yeah yeah you're right when you order to the uh, manufacturer you have to use the original yeah the original part number correct but i think it should be Yeah, 106 with the 106 be. I think it can be done. Uh, Tala, I can. There is the. Um, uh, uh, okay, hang on, hang on. Um, there is a workaround for that. I think if uh, we have an option like an Excel, if uh, something duplicate, it will highlight the color to alert the user, make more attention on it. Sorry, Dora, I cannot hear you. Yeah, yeah. It's... It it um it it look like in Excel, you know. In Excel, when anything duplicate, it will highlight the color to, uh, yeah, to to pay more attention to the user. Hang on, hang on, uh, hang on, because your sound, your your voice sounds choppy to me. Um, Rasmi, or you hear me, Rasmi? Yes. Do you do you hear uh, Tola's voice clearly or not? Uh, I hear him fine. He's. I oh, thought he said that uh, he need the function like Excel. No, no, okay. Sorry. Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to. I have to reconnect. Reconnect the session because um. Mm -hmm. I think my connection is in problem. Okay, hang on. I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. Yeah, okay. I will. I will get back in a minute. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. Sorry. Okay. Trust me, Tola. You can hear me. Yes. Okay. Now I can hear you better. Great. Sorry. Um. Sorry, Tola. Can you repeat again your question? <coughs> yeah. Um. In case of duplicate part number between MG and Mixer, so. We, we don't want to edit any format for the part number two, but uh, just my idea. I think that if there is an option like Excel, when we input something duplicate, it will 
show us like the, the color to to mention that this is duplicate thing and pay uh, the user need to pay more attention on it yeah in the system of course you cannot input the duplicate part number okay let, let me let me try for example this is the mg part number yes and if you add another part number, another same part number see this product already exists but so uh, we we can change the menu feature to to make us with Sorry? same part number same part number but different menu feature no cannot cannot you cannot you cannot use the same part number even if different manufacturer oh see 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 when 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 uh, when i try to add the same part number here even even i haven't uh, indicated the okay let me try to change the which says this is mp And then I try to add the same part number. Still, still the same. Mm -hmm. The product already exists in this branch. Yeah. So one thing that you need. Okay, I think um, because um, we have we have um,
Um, hang on, I'm trying something. So, I tried to add the uh, prefix MP, but um, when you order to the manufacturer, it's a, it will be the original part number. I'm going to try this. create the part order just for example this one okay and When you order to the manufacturer, do you how, how do you order to manufacturer? Do you create do you create the parts order in uh, dealer pro first, or do you create the parts order in dealer pro first and then export to Excel or something? Or you uh, just manual? Yeah, we we just manual prepare uh, to Excel and manufacture system. You you key in the you key in manually into the manufacturer system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we can export like the bulk order. Just uh, yeah, just upload the file one time. We'll complete. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. Um. So yeah, when So, um, so Tola, what, what, what I can, what I can, um, suggest you is just add the prefix, um, and the part number, just to add the prefix in the part number. But um, we can we can like this one. So, for example, this this part number using MP. But uh, for the products manufacturer, we use the original part number like this. So when when you when you print an order, um. We will truncate or we will use this part number. We will use the original part number for the parts order in here. But still, mm -hmm. you, 
but still when you key in you have to input the mp on the part number i mean uh i mean when you when you uh, input the parts order you have to input the mp something like this also when you when you do the part visit you also need to uh, key in the mp that's what i can suggest if you want to uh, prevent the duplicate part numbers between mg and mp um, yeah i think i will check yeah between mg and mixers part number first so how many duplicate yeah yeah, yeah you, you you can check first if there are duplicate uh, part number between mg and mp yeah right so uh, well maybe yeah i don't know that's that's what what i can suggest if you want to or uh, if we add a prefix like your example so when we participate could we input original part number and it can run no. to what that we want you have to you have to use the uh, part number with prefix when you do uh -huh. the part yeah yeah but when but if when you print when you print the part receipt we can remove or we can use uh, i mean right i will give you an example um that's um So you still have to use the part number with prefix, but when you, uh, I mean, when you print the part receipt, when you print it, we can use the original number for this. I mean, uh, on the print, on the form, we can use the original number, uh, original number on the form, on the form. Although. The part number is still with the prefix like this. So, yeah, that's. So you 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 need to you need to let your part admin know that uh, every time they want to um, process the part for uh, Maxus, then they have to add the prefix. On the part number yeah so just you can decide you can decide later uh, which which one you want to use either if you want to use the prefix or you just want to use the original part number yeah we need to check first all right sir uh, just let me know if uh, if you have um, any other concern about this uh, maxus part um, anything else about the Maxus parts or two brands? Yeah, I let let me check 
with my team and I will go to double check and verify the plan number between MG and Mixer to looking for yeah how many duplicate and decide the way to yeah to simplify in the system too. Yep. Okay. Uh, this is this is all for the uh, Mixer spare part, right? Yeah. Could, could you show us like the uh, we we want to get the report like um, today uh, how many item and how many quantity and what income from the spare part I mean daily report could we export to Excel for, for both of you Can we get from the this one daily PSF report? Different, I think it's different. Is it? Is this just for service? Mm -hmm. you, you can try. Yeah, you can try. Okay. Oh, sorry, this is test. Oh yeah, this is only the total part. You want the yeah, detail sure. part, you mean? Yeah, 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 I want detail about spare part, item by item, that to that. Okay, hang on. I'm going to get the uh, script extract from another server. Are you in a workshop or in at home, Tola? Workshop. Oh, so you're not working from home? 
Yeah, depends on the job. Okay. <laughs> But you from home, right? Yeah, I've been working from home already seven years now. <laughs> seven years? Yeah. Since I joined Pentana, I work from home. <laughs> yeah. So is that because of the pandemic? It's uh, it's been seven years for me working from home. <laughs> seven years or seven months? Seven years. Seven years. I think before COVID, yeah, seven years. <laughs> yeah, that's why I told you it's not because of the pandemic. Um, yeah, I, w- I work from home since long ago. Not bad, yeah, but from home. Yeah, not bad, but boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, um, just working alone. I'm going to share another screen. Are you seeing my screen now? Yeah, I can see it. This is the... I'm opening data extract, right? You see it? Card extract. Left. Because I I open another... Your procession. Um, right, um... This something like this that you want, Tola. Wait, 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 wait. Let me check. Let me check. This is the invoice number, the part number, description, quantity, total cost, total. Sale. We want to add a uh, customer number or customer name. 
Yeah, yeah, customer name and could be, could you add a balance stock also? Balance? Yes, like the example, sold quantity one and then stock balance five, example, something like that. Because it will make us um, a little bit easy to estimate next order too, right? Wait, wait. The balance after each transaction. You sure? What? Okay. Um, I don't understand. Uh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah. This is the report to show you that um, the sales, I mean, sales per uh, by part number, the detail sales. Okay, what? Maybe what you want to see is something like this. Maybe you mean the like the stock movement? This This is like a movement. So this part number is sold to this RO. This is the opening, opening balance, the quantity, and then this is the balance after the transactions. Which one? Which one? Or do you have any? Or do you have any example report that you have already had? Yeah, I think it. Yeah, we 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 just add on like the PV file that you show us. We we can add more like the yeah stock on hand before sold before selling and stock on hand up after selling mm. what what for what why do you need that may i know yeah why do, you need, why do you need the stock before and after sales i think it will uh to make sure more and if something wrong or something not sure we can track the report or track the information that by that or time by time to to know the previous balance and the next balance i think this is just just my idea i know it's perfect or not but i think if we can add more information i think it's better mm, i'm not sure i don't think we can add that No, I think that information cannot be added. It's it's very complicated to have. Unless if you want to This report is uh we can open right. Um but stock movement. Which 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 one? The the previous one that you show us and show like stock on hand. 
from the this, this data extract or uh, this one stock uh, market uh, audit you mean yeah 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 this we one? can it's available in our account too right yeah yeah stock you can audit. you can look from this menu parts uh, reports stock reports stock movement audit oh yeah but this one can search item by item yeah item by item or you can also just leave it empty if you just leave this empty it's showing all items oh yeah but it doesn't it doesn't show you the the cost or the, the value yes the cost but it's not the price to customer yeah yeah so it's it's just it's just like the oh movement on in this in this part inquiry uh like for example um uh, this one i'm going to check this it's just like a movement in here You uh, actually, what do you want to see? <coughs> you want to see only for in only for sell sales or all transactions if there is an, an option one we, we want to see the detail like the depends on the invoice or transaction and another one we want to see the the summary yeah the summary report like the, today like today the summary report uh, how many item and how many quantity that we sold and what is the stock on hand to um so if you run yeah. if you run on the on the same day, I mean, on the real time, yes, it will be, the report will be valid. I can, uh, I mean, I can create that report for you. Um, but you have to run the report on that time. I mean, the report cannot be backdated. Could you example? Yeah, for example, you want to see the report something like um, I'm going to share my my Excel screen. You see my Excel screen? Yeah. Okay, for example, this part number, um, part description, this is quantity sold, right? Mm -hmm. This is the stock of name. This is what you mean? Yeah, it include and uh, include RO number and invoice number too. Okay. Um, RO number, invoice yeah. number, maybe uh, price, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for example, we will format the the panel For 
example the quantity sold today seven yeah and and sold uh five uh as stock on hand the, the balance five okay you cannot have this ro and invoice number because it's already summarized yeah right? yeah yeah right, right yeah so it's not valid i think price is also not valid but it's fine okay and but it, it, we, we we can see the let test that yeah. yeah but i mean you cannot backdate you have because the stock on hand you can see the stock on you can see only the uh, you can only see the current stock on hand yeah, yeah. so i mean if you want to see this you have to run this every day every afternoon after the workshop is closed after the workshop is closed and then you run this report if you run the report maybe tomorrow or maybe next week the stock on hand will be different the stock on hand will be different this is the same so this can be this uh, quantity sold still the same but stock on hand will be different if you run tomorrow or uh, next week stock on hand will be different yeah right it different because of the quantity of salt right no 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 i mean um okay for example this is the transaction as per uh, monday 22 march okay this is transaction for monday 22 march you have to run this you have to run the report also on monday uh, for example on uh, 6 p.m 5 5 p.m for example yeah, after the after workshop close mm -hmm. right when you run it on 5 p.m the stock on hand is five but if you run it tomorrow or maybe next week mm. it will be different for example you run it on the 30 march you run the report on 30 march for 20 march 22 march the stock on hand will be different right because i can only get the stock on hand on the current of the current stock of your current stock on hand this will this can be different maybe two or maybe three so for you to get the valid stock on hand you have to run this every yeah. afternoon yeah yeah so i think or, or, or you or, may, or we can also create a schedule we can create the schedule to run this report automatically and then send the report to your email every day great yeah, great yep but um let me check your um just but but if we use the schedule this is for your information if we use schedule the schedule will take one license right so if you have eight license now one license will be used by the schedule right it's just for your information I think it should be okay for you. Eight, seven should be okay. Right. So that's that's just uh, for your information. So you okay with this report? Yeah. Just uh, add more information like the quantity quantity of sold and amount of sold. The total amount, right? 
total yeah, total, yeah. To, total solo selling amount and total stock on hand amount so total we cost. Can say, total cost yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah sure sure this is a total selling amount I mean, I did not form my number. Item, description, chừng nôn lũ chênh, chừng nôn bàn lãng, chừng nôn tật lôi lũ chênh, chừng nôn tật lôi nâng nâng stop. Nâng, cái đơn này này. Nâng, tại vì dân chặt bàn trong một khái. À, nếu bị update một ngày, một ngày, giờ ở dương một hồ. Nâng, You're good with that anything else yeah equal for this format i think yeah it can be used and please uh, make it auto generate to email and okay. please set up. yeah yeah set set what up time? the, the timeline time? yeah the timeline the um, five months yeah. Yeah. ตัวนี้ก็เป็นตัวนี้ก็ตัวนี้ก็เป็นตัวนี้ก็เป็นตัวนี้ก็เป็นตัวนี้ก็เป็นตัวนี้ก็เป็นตัวนี้ก็เป
for example, if the report is generated at 5 p.m., it will just, the system, it will just generate the report like when you run the report at 5 p.m. It's just the same. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right? So if you have another, if you have another transaction after the report, after the report is generated, if you have another transaction, for example, if you issue the part or if you uh, do the part receipt, you can run the report again manually. Mm, yes. You can run the report again manually after that. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, so we can set with the 6 p.m. Yeah, auto generate 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Change to six PM. This for auto, yeah, auto generate. Yep. This is this is we call the summary report. Yes, spare part summary report. Okay, spare part yeah. summary. Only for sales, right? Sorry. Sales summary, right? Sales summary. Yeah, yeah, sales summary report, spare part sales summary report. This is for both, both uh, direct sales and workshop sales, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, okay. And then we should have another report that generate based on a repair order and invoice. The detail one. one. Yeah, the detail one, right, right. It looks like uh, the, one, the, the one format that you saw of previously, like the I can't maybe okay. sample from Mazda, right? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I, I saw the sample that you saw previously. Show previously. Oh, yeah. just I, I know. We just part number, part name. Yeah, name. Uh, o number. Our own number. Invoice. Quantity, so quantity, price, price, yeah, price. Uh -huh. and then <laughs> customer name, customer yeah, name, customer name, customer code, customer what? Customer uh, code. Or uh, or uh, re re go uh uh. Or re go registration yeah, number. Re go okay. number. Yeah yeah, easy to search. Customer code and Rico number. And I get that. Dead. Dead. Hey, can I go And Huh? name. Number part name. And then. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I yeah, yeah, please. You already done with this? This, this report? I think this report. Yeah, I think okay, um, actually, Tola, we have already had the function to create the auto generate invoice number. So, you can now create the or generate 
auto number now. But I have to check. I have to check your invoicing first. So this is your your invoicing format MH2100344. Yeah, we have two formats. This is for customer and this is for internal. Uh all for customer but just different VAT show and not show. What 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 do you mean this one? VAT show and not show? Yeah, the MH it means a uh, the general customer, they don't need v VAT, you know. For this one? Yeah, yeah. That's why we use the M8 format. Uh-huh. And, it, and this one? Yeah. It's, it's like the flip customer or the, the company customer. So they need the right and all information in the invoice. So we use that format. VAT. But it it has VAT also in here. Yes, we we, we generally connect that to uh, to to use that format. But yeah, like you show, both format can insert VAT too. I don't understand why why do you why do you um, why do you separate the invoice number between it's because it's it's still the customer job right it's still customer right we and we we can call our internal customer internal customer yeah but there is a G the GST or VAT also in here. Yeah, we, we use the format for TS motor and include VAT too. Oh, so you, oh, so you mean, so this one you charge to TF motors? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. I think um for all the invoice including VAT, it's just that for general customer commercial invoice it doesn't show. So okay. um, normally they not go to claim, but for the company we have to break down for them and show on the invoice and then they can they can claim. It's just so, um it's so all include it's all include VAT. This one for the yeah, amount for include VAT. warranty, right? For claim, right? Yeah, for warrant, no, no, for not warranty claim, like a tax, VAT, tax in and tax out claim, like a, I mean, some company, they can claim the expand, claim the, claim the VAT. But for uh, the service that we charge to, sometimes to the motor we charge for the service of warranty. Okay. And yeah. as well as some other okay. accessory yeah. as well. Yeah. Like PDI, maybe PDI also, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Um, I just want to clarify that for all the invoice, the amount include VAT. Yep, the amount include VAT. Yep. Okay. Yes. okay. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on for a second. Yeah.
Um, okay. So, because here, Rasmi or Tola, we, we have already the auto-generate number for Cambodia. It has been used by our other Cambodia customers. But we cannot separate the two like this because it's still this customer invoice. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to show you the example of the invoice number that being used by other Cambodia customers. Okay, just a moment. You see my screen now? Yeah. Okay, this is um, big sample. Right, um, they have Two, they have two invoice format. One is for customer. You see the type is C here. Mm. This is for customer. Mm. And another one, for customer they have GST, right? They have VAT in here. And the other one, the for, uh, sorry, the customer format is like zero one. 20, 21, 0, 0, 45, 46, right, and so on. And then if next year it's uh, 20, if it is 2022, becomes 01, 20, 22, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? That's for the customer invoice number. For the other one, they have an internal invoice number. The internal invoice number doesn't have the VAT in here. So the VAT is zero. Mm. I think uh, the situation is different from us. Uh, yeah. For us, yeah. uh, MA is a separate entity. Yep. We yeah. not quite... like when when they yeah when they survey for warranty for T of Moto, it's not considered internal. It's yeah. still customer. Yeah. Still customer. So the VAT yeah. still yeah still have to be. On, I mean, add on, add to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For them, yeah. I think it's yeah. For them, it's different. The for us, we separate the entity. Mm. Mm. I I understand. It's it's it should be okay for us. I believe. Um. Because yeah. This this two company is separated, and then TM Motor required to get the VAT. That's why it, it should yep. be on there. Even in warranty, yep. you know, yeah. Okay. Um, what I was going to uh, tell you is about the auto-generate invoice number, ask me. Because we, we promised you that we, 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 are, we were working on the um, auto-generate invoice number, right? It's yeah, already implemented. Uh, it's already implemented in the Porsche. It's uh, already. So how okay. how they using it? This is for general customer. The auto generated. Yep. Right? Yeah. The, for the for customer and generated. for internal also. For internal also, I see. It, but but they they separate the. I mean, mm. we can separate the. 
the reinforced number between uh, customer and internal. But for your case, is different. Yeah, for us, seem to be different. I mean, like a yeah. uh, salary. You know, when when she working on this, she were in the training. What they meant by a uh, two two kind of invoice number, it, commercial and tax invoice. And yep. it should be yep. all include VAT. It's just that the, the, the numbering, the numbering is different format. Yeah, that's, that's numbering. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's what the system cannot do this because it's actually the same customer invoice, but yeah. different, uh, different purpose itself uh, for, uh, like, um, to, it's like, internal customer number <laughs> so um um i don't know if if this info i mean if our invoice auto generate number can do like it's this apply to yeah it's a so we should we should we change the type of consumer differently the type of tax invoice is become t and C is a commercial, and then uh, differentiated, and then the the auto generated can recognize by type, not you know no, GST, cannot, cannot. but it it can it can only cannot. okay. I will show you. It's um, mm -hmm. we have the in we have the invoice number for customer C for customer. Yes. I for internal mm. and W for foreign thing. So for for invoice numbering mm. um auto numbering sorry, invoice auto numbering we can we can separate the numbering set between if it is GST or non GST, mm. VAT or non VAT. Mm. So, for example, okay. if 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 it is VAT, you can use, for example, the uh, the format MH twenty one zero 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 one. If non VAT, mm. you can use format twenty one zero 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 one. You can separate that, but since you <coughs> this. This kind of invoice, both are um, vetable, mm. so we cannot separate the invoice number. Okay, so it go by the GST and not yep. GST. Yes. Because normally it. internal internal invoice mm -hmm. number doesn't have uh, VAT. Mm. Like okay. like like the other customer. This is mm -hmm. also if it is warranty or internal, <coughs> they don't have VAT in here. Mm -hmm. You see, it? they don't have VAT. Yeah. So they can. They, so this way internal they can is their own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They can separate the invoice number by that. So I in see. your case, oh. and in your case, yeah, um, different If you still already. Need, if you still want to separate the invoice numbering, then you still have to do the invoice number manually. Unless currently it wants... operate by manual, I think. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You still have to do it manually. Mm -hmm. Unless yes. if you want, That's unless right. if you want to, um, to make it the same <coughs> invoice format for this um taxation why i'm not sure is it possible because the 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 college that do the tax declaration that's what they request to cut the numbering okay. like this so i would assume uh when they file tax uh, it's it's um it has to be like that i think we have to check for sure we have to check. yeah <clears throat> i think you have to check because i i I'm 
I don't know if because it's still you still report these transactions to tax department, right? Yes. All of them, the whole, every, all the income, oh, right. as, <laughs> every as single know, invoice that we issue, yeah. As far yes. as, I, as I know from the from the other customer, they said mm. the government wants. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on for. A mm. Yeah, to to abide by law, we 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 will report when we report uh this income. It will have an attach of a VAT onto it. Right now, I think the, the the end problem, the problem is that the format of the invoice because for the taxing, we show a breakdown of ten percent on it, but for the commercial invoice, we don't show the ten percent. Ten percent, yeah, that's that's. Um... Yeah. I think that's that's what. So what the customer uh, will like. Uh, the customer will just pay the total, and they not really think about the tax attached to it. But for the for the tax invoice, the corporate customer they they will they will have the way to break to, to file tax to get the ten percent. Mm -hmm. So what 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 are you going to? Yeah. What are you going? What are you going to tell? I mean, you want to change the invoice format? I, uh, I would. We don't want to change invoice for format. You know, like um, this is how um the customer like perceive the invoice. Like if we change it, they will freak out. They're like why they have to pay tax stuff like that is is another story um the format we want to have both like we have to have two two kind of format but the numbering is it possible to have like automatic uh, okay <clears throat> so okay for okay let me let me um ask your clar uh, clarification okay um for mm -hmm. this for this invoice which charged to customer mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. print. Yeah, let's see the print out. Let's see the print pre use. Yeah. Use VAT or commercial invoice? Oh, yeah. Commercial. 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 Right. This is your commercial invoice. It's not stated. It's, mm -hmm. it's not showing the VAT, right? It's just uh, VAT included in here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 yeah. for commercial invoice. If you same, if you print the same invoice with the selection oh. of the tax tax invoice, the VAT, VAT invoice, VAT. Yeah. it will be showing the uh, the VAT ten percent VAT in here, right? Okay. So it. Um, this 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 invoice mm -hmm. has a breakdown of the VAT ten percent before, before tax, yeah, before tax yeah. and ten percent, and then yeah. the final invoice, uh, final amount. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the numbering can be just. Let me make a phone call to to my college. Sure. sure. I want to know like why they need sure. the. Uh, um yeah. the tag invoice numbering okay. to be because, like in the same like because as far as i know trust me um from mm -hmm. from the other customers said uh you have to yes. use yeah. one you have to use one invoice number set for the whole company that's what i that's what what i know from my uh from the other customers said from Porsche the last time oh the last time we checked they said the tax invoice have to be like um uh different numbering but i have to double confirm okay last time they tell me like uh for the 80 invoice uh they have to be different 
numbering. Let me check. Let me call first. Sure, sure, so sure. You can talk to Tola first, and then we can go come back, come back to this issue later. Maybe maybe after lunch. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah, sure. It's lunch time. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, okay. I mean. Um, All right. So after you call, then we will talk again after mm -hmm. lunch. Um, and I, if Tola I, has I, any other I, issue or um, <laughs> any other question you want to ask Tola before lunch, uh, we can discuss now. Yeah, um, I just concerned about another format that we prepare and now it relates with the invoice so we should clarify yeah the invoice format first all right and then let, yeah let's continue yep so yeah we will wait for uh rasmi to check this one out then um yeah do you have any other things you want to discuss beside this concern? Equal mm. for the commercial invoice if we, uh, yeah, if we select like the VAT, so the customer, the the normal customer, they don't have the VAT, so the information will be blank. No, <clears throat> for example, this one, right? Yeah. The net value is three hundred eighteen. Mm. The VAT thirty one total is three hundred fifty. If you print but in in the invoice is not uh, show VAT, right? Right, correct. Yeah, we, if, we you select select, commercial. if you select commercial, hmm. if you select commercial, it doesn't yeah. show VAT in here. It's just yeah, total. Yeah. Total includes VAT, three hundred fifty. Mm -hmm. Up, up, go up, please. Sorry. Go up, go up. Go up. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so we we did add the, the customer detail. We it doesn't have VAT information, you know. Yep, doesn't have VAT information. Yeah, yes. So you, you, you can change you can change to VAT. Okay, sure. I will reprint it yeah. as <clears throat> the VAT. Yeah. See, it's 318. Yeah. It show VAT. It show VAT in here. Yeah. But the 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 VAT for customer at at uh, above one, it doesn't have. What thing? You can see what thing. Up, what go thing? Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it in here, have. yeah, 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 it doesn't have. Doesn't have button. Then you have to input the button in the in here. You have to input the IBN. For example, the button. Yeah. Is... Because general customer they don't have it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when after you update, you can just reprint the button. Yeah, you can just reprint the invoice. It will show this in here. Mm. Yep. yep. <coughs> um. Yeah. Anything else? Not yet. Okay, so maybe we just have a break and then um, we'll be back at one o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Rasmi, yeah, we'll be back on one o'clock.
uh, if you have already the answer for the invoice numbering. So, yeah, Tola. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll see you in uh, one o'clock. Yeah, yeah, see you. Okay. Thank you.